let's take a look at this problem. We got 4x squared minus xy minus 3y squared. And this is going to be key number. Reason why is because we have an x squared, x, no x, and there's a number in front of our x squared. So we're going to take the number at the beginning times the number at the end, ignoring signs. So we'll take the 4 times the 3, which gives us 12. And then come up with our three columns. The P column, we're going to list all the products to give us 12. We got 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Then one add those. 1 plus 12 is 13, 2 plus 6 is 8, 3 plus 4 is 7. Subtract them. D for difference. 12 minus 1 is 11, 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. Smaller from larger. Now the number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which there's no number here, so it's by default 1, which is right here. So we're going to use 3 and 4. Now remember the key number, we rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Our larger number in the PCOM that we're using, we're using 3 and 4, so a larger one is a 4, will always be the same size as the middle term, which in this problem is a negative. So we're going to have a negative 4xy. Number with circles in the difference column, D for different signs, it means one will be positive, one will be negative. Since the 4 is negative, then the 3 has to be positive. And you notice the extra variables here don't really change anything. All that matters is that this middle term that has both x and y, these both have, have x and y. Well, now we want to factor by grouping. So I group first two terms together, group last two terms together. Um, the first group, they have a 4x in common. And that gives us x minus y. Second group, group has a 3y in common. And that gives us x minus y. Now our goal was to get this parentheses the same as this, which they are. So I'll factor out the x minus y. To see what goes in your second set of parentheses, you can come up with this previous line and cross out the x minus y's. And what isn't crossed out is what goes in your second set of parentheses, which would be 4x plus 3y. And that's our answer.